Leaf clipped here in the sky. The beam, oh, just out, out of range. range. He doesn't have the boost. He's going to get back up top. Now Shy's going to be down on the ground. Takes quite a bit of damage. The Sticky Bomb come flying through, and Leaf will find the kill. Shy, oh, flying too close to the sun, gets punished. Which way with the Sliver of HP. Looks like he will be able to hold on for a little bit longer as MCD and IDK do the damage to keep him alive in the fight. Rez is there, putting Leaf back into the mix of things. With the first cap there for Chengdu, they're moving up above 10% at the moment. They have Nana taken out. Nana will get committed. I thought they were just going to disengage here, but no, they continue to press forward. Monk getting jumped on will fall, but at what cost? IDK is now gone. MCD going to be eliminated as well as Aga just goes ahead, fits on both supports, and Hangzhou Spark, they come in for this fight, and it just costs them everything. Yeah, and it seems like they were really... Primal Rage does get popped. Let's see what he can get done. Jumps in, looks for the lockdown in on the Monk's trying to cleave him, but can't quite get that corner shot to keep the pin. So Monk does manage to escape. Shy with duplicate. Just the copy here on the no Elsa Kaneki. Oh, man! Goes in, gets the Death Blossom, takes out three, and that should just be it. Shy's taking a nap at the moment, and yeah, it's just going to go ahead and start ticking up. Shy does manage to tag the point for just a moment, but nobody is really going to be able to touch. IDK is still so far away. And in front of the Hangzhou off of onto the Zarya, so they made this shift. Oh, okay. and it just it cost them the time to be able to try to push forward. Byron is going to be lobbed in the back. Doesn't mention clip onto anybody, but Monk is going to be gone. Leaves taking very low. Will get top back up steadily by Nisha, but falls in the end. MCD finding the kill. Nar now pressing forward. High energy, 96 right now on the Zarya. Just going to be cleaning him up left, right, and center. And this time, away from it right now. Presses behind the barrier. Both four going to be used. Oh, the Bionade is Bionade. Four members there on the side of the Chengdu Hunter. is going to be anti out. Shy barely manages to get himself back up before falling down to his death. It's the duplicate out Another on the of Bionade again onto two. Gaga. Really nowhere to go, will just fall, and that is the team kill. That is the Hangzhou Spark looking absolutely excellent here on Rune. Oh, Hangzhou Spark is connecting, or, or, you know, it's connecting, but you know, pulling back away from the point. But as I say that, Architect decides it's go time. Misha, however, is in prime position, gets that shield bash. They do find the kill, but it's at the cost of their Arisa. There's obviously Rino's no coming. way to bring him back into the fight. Leave kind of a headshot on the Shy, gets rid of the other DPS member on the side of the Hangzhou Spark. Maybe that's going to be enough for them to hold out here. As MCD will also get pushed off the side of the map. So yeah, Hangzhou Spark are going to have to go for this reset. Uh, Chengdu Hunters, they're going for a couple additional picks, but Kushway will be as good as the duplicate is available. The grab now going to be used, but Bernard throwing it out, manages to get the catcher on the guy. Mortality, Mortality Field is up, and it's behind the barrier, and Leave is there as well with Deadeye. Minutes to find IDK, now the rally is not going to be the fight, and it's at 94% here for the Chengdu Hunters. Maybe that's going to be enough. Shy, he broke it out of the duplicate, out of the mech. Will manage to find Gaga in Body the end. Rally. Mex has this up to start available to try to clear the point. Rally, rolling first from Nisha. The bomb finds two. Shy can sort of leave and Monk, and just like that, suddenly Hangzhou Spark are back in control. Wow. There's no one on the point. And they will down. Into the action we go. These teams look to win out on the neutral fights. Leaf coming in up over the top. Oh, the beam shy. is going to be good. Find Shy for the first blood in the fight. And with Bernard getting knocked out of the Mac, you'd expect it. Yeah, this is going to be the lockdown there for the Chengdu Hunters yet again. The rest of the Hangzhou Spark scrambling to try to exit to not give over any additional kills, nor some alt charge. Shy with a nice reply as soon as he comes back. Let's get rid of leave and forces the burn on the rest of Nisha. The fact that IDK is not playing the Mercy is going to really put a lot of pressure on towards Shy. It's a one-for-one -one trade so far. Oh, it's going to be a bloodbath here. Two for two now. Bernard is going to be knocked out of the mech. Elsa finding that, but now it's at the cost of Nisha. Now Bernard goes down and Gushui will fall. So finally trading up are the Chengdu Hunters looking to win out in the extended fight. It seems like that's exactly what they're going to be able to do. Architect still poking and prodding around the back with his HP. Reaper, but... Oh, it does Holy. manage to fight Gaga on the end. Can he do it again? We have to flank really hard here. I'm sure IDK and MC are looking out for that now, but it's a similar situation, right? Both supports with both ultimates available. Heartbreaker for Monk, by the way. I think he had his uh, nano boost completely cancelled there, or it went on to leave Echo Duplicate and just got destroyed. Here comes that uh, Death Blossom, but it did get shut down, so Hangzhou have got this fight underway, with Nisha also dying first. Hangzhou definitely win this. Yeah, it's looking like that way. Architect, he's out of tools. He's just trying to stay alive to make a pack. Or rather, the mini pack is going to be good enough, and the rest of the team does collapse forward to keep him protected. This will be the Hangzhou Spark taking the lead. And I mean, yeah, I should go on to leave instead, as leave does take a bit of damage. A lot of ultimates online for Hangzhou, though. This will be a big fight. Oh, well, Shy is going to be out. 
He doesn't get the duplicate. Leave manages to finish him off. Finds the beam. Both supports helping out to get that kill. Into the back is Gaga at the moment with the Primal Rage. Kushma doing the same, but is he anti for the moment? Bernard receives a nano boost, but it's not enough. The Focus Fire is just absolutely shredding him. Uses the self destruct. The Death Blossom is there from Kaneki. Shuts down the Baby Diva. Make sure that he does not get back into the mech. Architect uses the Death Blossom of his own. Manages to find Lee. Follows up for Gaga. Rez is instantly there from Nisha. Putting the Echo back into the fight. But now Hangzhou Spark are looking pretty good in their odds to be able to take this round. Leaves in trouble. This flip. Still in control, and yeah, Leave in trouble, as you say. Was hounded down by Shy. Architect came in for the alley oop. They confirmed the kill. The bomb sent out as well. Chengdu Hunters need to, need to give it their all if they want to get this flip. The Hangzhou Spark are back in control of the point. The beam up over the top. Shy finds Nisha. Looks for a little bit more. Kaneki is gone. The rally rolls, but it's not even necessary. The Hangzhou Spark and insane. Back up, fueling these ultimates. Give them a nice little lead, and just like that, Chengdu Hunters are ticking off. Architect around the back is just going to die. Yep, nothing, well, <laughs> nothing much else that could have been done there. <laughs> That's uh, revenge for us, man. Dead. Yep, hook in on the goose way, they get the finish, and that is just point A, uh, basically going to be gone. Shy barely gets out alive a second time as well, that would have been a late death otherwise. Looking for that whole hook, doesn't really manage to make that happen, but Leaf, again with an opening pick, this time on Architect. One tick already going to be taken, they are just moving up, and no one is contesting the point. 64%, they do finally manage to touch back in, but just like that, they're off the point. Grab comes in from Leaf with the duplicate, it's a lockdown on a Bernard, he absolutely vanishes off the face of the map. So not and this well. is a complete and utter speed run at the hands of the Chung 200, so they can just close this out. Shy back into the fray, low HP, almost eliminated, but Leaf is still here he is doing work Holy. and what in the hell just happened? Shut this connect on to Monk. Shality Field keeps him alive for a little bit longer, but needs to get top up by Nisha, which will happen. Turret for now gonna be the only casualty that we see as Architect looks oh. to get rid of Kaneki and he manages to do so. Now is chasing in, trying to finish off Monk and he will have him. You would expect, but Monk, he takes a quick little hop up in the air, comes out on top. Nisha and Leaf still gonna be dead in the meanwhile. As Monk will get dove on well into the back, and this should be the cap onto A here for the Hangzhou Sparks. So still relatively fast. Uh, you know, if you're gonna do a direct comparison, yeah. not quite there, but it's still really not gonna be a fast cap. Like, they still have five minutes, it's, it's still a fast cap, it's just the comparison is so stark. Yeah, yeah, really sure. Different. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Spark make it uh, I, Chengdu make it on. Yeah. But that is gonna slow them up considerably as they uh, go ahead and pick off the remaining members of the Hangzhou Spark IDK, just trying to stay alive here. Hugging into the corner, trying to keep Bernard pre uh, protected, but they won't be able to do so. They cannot preserve any of the energy, so it's gonna have to be a reset. It's good little staggers in the back, or at least a cast occurs that has happened many a time. Bionade's gonna be good, clips on to two. We'll get for the follow-up, Monk falling low. They will force out the immortality kills. Gooseway gets his way into the back. Bolton Corp from Kaneki will find Architect. Cause to leave, so one for one as far as the DPS are concerned. But leave obviously a significantly faster run back time. Bomb from Elsa yep, finds no Bernard, self bubble, just not going to be available. The grab not going to happen here in the fight, and that is just about everything used. Still will have a potential grab death loss. Oh, no way! This is looking. Oh, that would have been no, that didn't get brutal. it. Kaneki gives some Nisha squats stole though. It. Drops a grab that goes nowhere, well, it goes somewhere, but they can't utilize it. No Nano either, so Kushra just dives in, hoping for the best. This man in the hammer, the dead eye up yet again, tries to go for the shot. Man, it's a final to kill, so let's get taken out. The Death Blossom is there from Architect. You see the D-Matrix is absorbing as much as it possibly can. The turret, the only casualty from that. Shy, however, opens things up. Manages to find three. Kaneki Gaga and Nisha all going to be eliminated. Self-destruct is going to be used. He dips around the back. The bomb not going to be able to find anything. And finally, the Hangzhou Spark are in onto the point. Nano boost does come through. Shy, he's looking to drag this back across the finish line for them. Keep things going. Keep them in the fight. Try to keep some time in the time bank. Goes in for the uppercut on the back of the two. Duplicate, Kaneki has to bail out, goes back into the spawn room. Meteor Strike now online. Shai using it, jumps into the back, looks for Monk. Mortality Field is forced, but Gushui comes in, manages to find the kill, and the Hangzhou Spark are so very close. Chengdu Hunters, they try their damage to push that into OT. Anyway, you don't want to play Genji to Torb. Torb is kind of like a soft counter to Genji, it's just all kinds of wrong, sadly. They might get a Nano again, Nano's their only hope. Well, Bio doesn't find anything that gets eaten. Gucci chewed up. Leave 
taking him down. Bernard getting shredded right now in the mech as MCD tries to keep him alive. The Nana Boost almost online. Desperately oh, needs that. Again. Sleep Dark does go through, but that's the break on Bernard's mech. And the BBD is going to be finished off. The Nana Boost invested on the Shy. And he needs to do some serious work, but it just doesn't seem like it's going to be able to happen. Everybody collapses in onto the Echo, and there you go. The hold happens, and it's just... Finish on Elsa would have been a huge boon for them, but Mortality Kill will save him, and that is just fueling this Ant Matrix for Monk. Things that much scarier. Bernard gets pulled in. That's the break on the mech. He's gonna look to pistol his way back through, but now IDK out of the fight. It's all on MCD. The Nano Boost is rolling on Architect. Who needs to get some serious value? But the hook is right there, and everybody collapses. Leave finds the finishing blow. Shy only able to find Monk thus far, but it's gonna be the Chengdu Hunters in onto the point. Shy eliminated here. And that should be it. Bongo down just for good measure. The cleanup comes through. And still with 4 minutes and 47 seconds remaining, yeah. the Chengdu Hunters will take... Oh, finally Nano's online. That'll happen without Nano's available because Nano's came in very slowly. Neither MCD nor Monk got a sub one minute Nano yet, which is kind of my target. We'll see the Nano come on through now. MCD on the Gushue. Should be living for a while. Would love to build up a climb, but he's starting to get a bit, a bit of a deficit. And then oh, they left MCD. Gaga just counter dives, goes into the back line, and that's the support's gone. So the play works out way better for the side of the Chengdu Hunters. Now Gushui falling. I mean, Shai, he's committed to duplicate to this fight. He will be using the self destruct, trying to find some sort of pick, but it won't lead to anything other than a kill onto Monk. But now with Architect gone, everybody else still coming back, trying to rejoin the fight, and the res is there for the Ana. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be the Chengdu targeting. Less support coming on through as well. When look at this, Gaga just and he knows he's got Primal though, so he's fine. Oh yeah, he's trying to juke out the sleep dart. It would look like here deny the <laughs> entrance oh, into beautiful. the spawn room. Yeah, juggles MCD around. Perfectly done by him. And this is just starting to really unravel for the side of the Hangzhou Spark. I mean, a strong yeah. start for them. It was still back and forth, Grant. You know, mind you, on Ilios, but they got that win. But they have not really By found way. any stability since then. Checking the back side of the point, making sure there's nobody over there. Self-destruct's gonna be used. MCD is gone again. This time, not gonna be able to use an enemy. Oh, he dies as soon as he pops the rally. That is catastrophic. Bernard self-destruct does manage to find Elsa's back. Meaning the Architect can open things up with a Death Blossom. Finding one, and the Bomb from Shy finds two. On the back foot now are the Chengdu Hunters as they look to hold the point. Leave, however, is here, and he still has the Duplicate. Drops down, they're looking to focus fire him out of this, which they will be able to do. Pop him out, back into the Echo form, and he will get finished off. Ticking up here on the point are the Hangzhou Spark. They will be able to get this cap, so not... Now... Oh, Primal online again for Gaga. Chengdu Hunters take the fight right up here at the initial corner. Which way going to be res back in. Shy in the beam out, takes out leave. Is Nano here for the moment. Now has the duplicate available. Connect that was a very wanting death blossom and gets shut down almost immediately. Gaga into the back line, does manage to find one. He's eliminated though. We have such a scrappy back and forth. And it's, you know, it's kind of hard to say who's going to be winning out on this one. Monk. Getting pursued on just a little bit there by Gushui will be able to stay alive. Literally, okay, he's just gonna charge in. He wants to reset. Knows that he's not gonna be able win. to escape, it would seem. Yeah. Into the back there, at least momentarily. And Shai goes in with the duplicate, manages to find leave. A good early elimination now with the self destruct online. Rez does come out, the bomb's up over the top. He's looking for the mercy, and he will find him. Great punish from Shai, shutting down Nisha for getting that Rez. Leave now gonna be out of the fight as well as Bernard himself involved in the action of the Hangzhou Spark are getting this push going. Again. So far, it's only been the use of, what, two ultimates here? So we'll roll in, we'll get that extra minute and a half added. It's gone back to Briggs, so no more uh -oh. boosting. Shy definitely gets it, and they'll take down Monk. Yeah, that is a sleep that you cannot afford to miss. Monk whiffing it, then gets eliminated. Architect with a very nice kill. Leaf makes it back to the back there. We'll use the self-destruct, but we'll be able to find anything. The Hangzhou Spark right now finding the momentum. After nearly being held on point A, they have a very solid push coming through. Rounding the final. So struck up over the top from Bernard. The Wraith Walk is there. Actually, the self struck finds leave. That is catastrophic here for the defense on the side of the Chengdu Hunters. The Death Blossom opening up takes out Nisha. And just like that, one after the other, they will string in on the card, but they will also fall. Death Blossom from Kaneki yet again. Not going to be able to find anything. Gets shut down immediately. They will finish the map with time. Pop it back up. Sleep? 
Good amount of damage coming Shitty. through. Leave dipping back into the bubble. Gucci is there, and that bubble completely cuts off any support that he can possibly receive, so he will fall. Push into the back from Kaneki as well as Leave. Leads to Shy dropping. Two members now gone. On the side of the Hangzhou Spark, the Chengdu Hunters, they establish ground on the point. Yeah, it looks like that's just going to be the cap. There's nothing that can be done at this point. Kaneki, while yep. he might not have a blade Swift. online, is still doing some serious work. Lee's used that to try to shut down, but Leave, he goes in for the duplicate. Copies Bernard. Still building it up rather slowly though, doesn't quite have that grab online, but now he gets it, pulls the trigger on it immediately. They get the lock in, and that's going to be IDK eliminated from the fight, just 15% shy of that rally. Now Bernard gone, loses out on his energy, that reset comes through. Architect, just a single kill on the leave, it will be as good as it gets. And the cart is making some serious pace right now. For Precipice of B, the Primal Rage will delay for some time, and Graham needs to come through. There it is. Blade out, looking for some targets. It's actually going to be the Hangzhou Spark who managed to find the first two. Now a third. If Bernard will take down Kaneki. Monk is going to be gone. And with just Gaga left over on the cart, he will get farmed out. Try picking up multiples here in the fight. And the cart will be stopped just in the Starts getting some serious damage in. Looking to build up that grab. Still has to play around two. Play around this diva from Shy, But the grab will be good. Locks him in. Monk could be the first one to fall. Trade it out as IDK. Will get eliminated by the Sticky Bombs. Six finds Gaga, so it's going to be a two for one. Still in favor of the Hangzhou Spark, who are looking wow. great at this point. B defense. And Monk's changing as well. This is kind of falling apart now for Chengdu. Uh, you normally don't see teams hold B, by the way. B is probably the rarest point. Now to build up most of his next Primal Rage. In under 40 seconds now for the Chengdu Hunters to make one last attempt of it. Like I said, most teams don't drop here, but with Bernard dying, this could be the opportunity. 6v5. Well, the oh, D-Matrix is not going to last long enough there from Shy. So, yeah, it does get knocked out. Tries to go for the remake, but it will not be allowed to happen. IDK eliminated. Shy gone. That is going to be the cap. So, not going to be held here. But not going to be working with that much time for the side of the Hunters. Similar the Nano Boost as well. Chengdu working on ultimates. That's a brilliant kill. Two. What? How does Kaneki do this? Kaneki comes up with two. He's going to be looking for a third. Just to get those pawn shots in towards Bernard. Can't quite find the hits, but now Shy gone. That's an effective team kill coming oh, through this is for the Chungo Hunters in the final stretch. Yeah, Molten Core. I mean, you can just go ahead, pop this, and just spray right over towards the spawn doors. He's going to lay it down right in front, but the touch does come through onto the card. Good way playing forward, MCD's trying to keep dead. this contested. He gets rid of the Bongo. MCD is dead to the Molten Core, but the Nano was thrown out onto Gushway to try to keep him alive. Rally now expiring. Not that much armor out to the members of the Hangzhou Spark, and IDK does get eliminated on the back end. Bernard knocked out of the mech. They're just trying to buy time here, realistically, at this point. Somebody's got a touch. Shai <laughs> tries to go for it, but cannot make it happen. Now going to be coming through, and do they just concede the point? Because right now, that's what it's looking like. They will press forward. Also getting the tag. Now the leap comes in from Gaga. Bubble's good to protect. Wraith. Walk is there from Kaneki to try to stay safe, and that's going to force the end off the point. The cap comes in. Now, oh we're into OT. They're looking for the cleanup on the backside of this fight, though. Chengdu Hunter's still looking to push it, but it's going to be pushed way too far. It snaps back in the opposite direction, hits them square in the nose, and gets the copy on a Bernard, who they nearly knock out of the back. Still does have that self-destruct. Sleep goes through on the leave, putting him on the ground, trying to just wait out that duplicate timing. It seems like it's oh going to be my. pretty good for it. Oh, man, Bernard with the remake. He finds Kaneki shutting down the Reaper. Architect now, Death Blossom. But this is gets rid of Nisha. Leave is gone. Architect will get traded out. Monk just sniping in the back line, trying to keep everybody topped up, trying to alleviate some of this pressure, but it's just proving to be too much. Self destruct will be used by Shy right here on the cart to clear some space. Gets rid of the baby diva. And now Gaga is left on his lonesome all the way far forward. Shield bash into the beam, and Hangzhou Spark are not done yet. The cap on the beam. 605 with Sky already. Prime will be popped by Gushui, and Hangzhou are not done. They want the full completion. Yep, they're looking for it, but it's not looking great right now. Gushui going to be taking a nap, waiting at that primal rage. The Bionade perfectly timed it from Monk. Gives him a rude awakening as they get the shutdown. Bernard, the only tank alive, but he's still 10% away from the self destruction. He will not be able to build it up. They get the elimination. Kaneki just giving a little bit of a celebratory death blossom. They finally cleared the card, but with just a. Monk's on 25, so CD's on 29. He's playing this so slow. He's looking for the jump on the monk. He pushes in the sleep dart, does not connect. He cancels the raid. Leap does manage to find two. So it's going to be no supports for either team. And look at the HP bars right now across both sides. Very much in shambles, however, for the side of the Chengdu Hunters. The quick cleanup does come in. Oh, somebody uh, is calling an ambulance for Kaneki. I'll play.
He thought he was getting the sneak up there. He thought he was going to be getting hit online. Shy has his. Just 5% away now. Looking for a target. Shy, however, opens Nisha. things. The beam goes in. Nisha goes out. The sleep dart interrupted by the bubble. Monk getting jumped on. The primal rage from Shy interrupting it. Now he's just pushing Elsa back, stopping him from being able to contest. He gets the slight corner on him and will take him out of the mech. The self-destruct has to be used. Shy looking to bail out, does dip out, gets himself to safety, but the OT will bleed away. And man, what a performance here. Three K more damage than leave, all on turrets, I understand. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's where it comes from. That's, it's that extra target, the seventh member. Well, around the back comes the lead, manages to find IDK. Shy replies, eliminating Gaga, but get broken out of that duplicate and gone for the Roadhog. Doesn't really manage to make it happen. He's falling low, takes a breathing, keeps himself in the fight. Turnaround is going to be there here for the Chengdu Hunters. Looking to press back and keep this cart rolling, and it is going to do just that. Lead up comes in. And that's going to be IDK. So that should be okay for now. He's going to have to pop us straight away. Look at the HP. Gushra nearly got Ooh. melted. Yeah, Monk. Not there into the corner. The immortality field has come down. He's wasting Gushra's side fight. of the wall. He's knocked back up the top. He's trying to stay alive. The stop comes in. Gushra will get the kill. Bernard off screen with the self destruct. Finds connecting with, with that kill. And with that ult, rather. Gushra will push forward. Get the kill here on the Nisha. He gives up. Yeah, hands off the keyboard. Does it. It's over. Just gives in. And gets the faster re damage. Arsenal barely retreats out the safety with the Wraith Walk. Hart again moving forward. Duplicate comes in the last second. Rashad trying to keep himself alive and leave with the remake kill as you, you know, a nice little confaw. It's always fun to see. Which way, burned it right out of the sky. The Primal Rage not really extending his lifespan too much. But the rest of the Hong Kong are able to fight around his death. The team comes in. They have to capitalize. Bernard did a back up shy. And it's going to be the hold continuing. I mean, just a couple <laughs> meters away to buy some extra time. Also pushing forward. Oh, it's whipped cut over to the side. So maybe he was going to land in the water himself, but it does not quite happen. This way, Shai, however, do fall. Good opening picks for the side of the Chunky Hunters as they look to get this across the line into B. Self-destruct to buy a little bit of extra space. Won't find any kills, but the rest of the squad is doing just that. His IDK Architect will fall. The rest of the Hangzhou Spark going down now. Cap is there, two and a half minutes now on the clock for the side. Tart and Bongo down. Oh, well, we were trying to get the finish here on the Gushway. He's going to dive back into the room. Finishes off the Immortality Field, then follows up on the Monk. He's with the Valkyrie. It's not going to be doing them too much good here indoors. Leave. However, was the recipient. Oh, too difficult. That... Yeah, got the duplicate. Yeah, he's, he burns him down a little bit. There is a spot here from the Hangzhou Spark. He's looking to persevere. Chai not quite oh, falling, but as I say that, the final shot, a little bit of a fadeaway there from Leap, will get the, the hit that they were looking for. IDK will get picked off. The back of the cart now go the, the Chengdu Hunters. Looking around this final corner and start moving. Day catches only the turret. We'll see if Shai's duplicate over towards this Orisa is going to be enough. Time's running out though, 20 seconds remaining. Still a race available oh. as well on the hands of Nisha. Nisha used it on to uh, Kaneki. And they pull it back in. It was a really good halt there from Gaga to get the punish, taking down Shai, making sure that Lee could line up the hit. Which way, Primal for the moment now builds up. And Primal Rage. Diving in, Monk again going to be eliminated. Now leaves gone. Great juggling. Oh man, the Primal Blade. From Gushway, this is what he is famous for. Absolutely crushes it, has the bubble to block the self-destruct. It's a beautiful way to end this defense here for the Hangzhou Spark. No, if they can continue to do that, maybe they can find a suspicion against Ben. Tie this up, Lee pressing forward, find Shy. MCD gonna be, be Goopa stopped by Gaga, but it does cost him as Bernard pushes forward to get that finish onto the enemy Winston. Follows up for another kill onto Konecki, and this should be enough kills to start inching the card. Hunters leave so very low, but also so very close to having that duplicate. Konecki, though, picked off. Architect finds the headshot, pops the Death Blossom right here on the card. Necessarily find any kills from that, but immediately follows up for two more. The best connect you can do is Shy. Now has a closer run back here to the card. So three minutes, 15 seconds yeah. strong on the time bank. 142 remaining. Ultimate is under run out for the Hangzhou Spark. And meanwhile, oh, Chengdu are pretty no. happy with theirs. That's a brilliant boot from Bernard. Kanik is going to go for a little bit of a swim. We'll have to rejoin the team in just a little bit. Monk will have this nano up available pretty soon. Gaga on half HP. Nisha with a Valkyrie should be able to survive this time instead of dying early. All right, Nisha with the Valkyrie, yeah, does not get picked off by the self-destruct. However, 
kills do come through. Looking for the res, that's just gonna be the pop on the Death Blossom, shuts down Nisha. Finding MCDs, trying to keep things as even as easily possible. Architect keeping up on top of the stairs, does sleep. Now Architect, that's gonna be Elsa pushing forward, he's gonna bring walk out. Starts things off, Shy the recipient, dives in the back, he's looking for Monk, self-destruct. Not gonna find anything from Elsa, and they do deny the remake. He does get taken down. Monk now gone for Nark to be popped out. Duplicate used by Leave. Death Blossom rolling from Kaneki, but he takes too much damage. Only finds the baby diva. Shy will shut him down. He goes in with a duplicate on the Reaper himself. Good block there from IDK. Death Blossom now out. Just looking to clear this cart. And Elsa, yeah, and heat up out of the Matrix. Doesn't stand a chance. It's melted. Now he's pushing forward. Oh man. He's there off screen, falling quite low. Gaga, oh, he's trying to get the knock there on MCD to push him into the rest of his own team. So they can get the kill on the enemy Ana. He wakes up, he doesn't manage to find it. He's gonna be traded out as Leave does fall. Self-destruct over the top from Bernard, not gonna be able to find anything. And Nisha in the back, he gets the clock out and absolutely bodies Bernard. Gets the kill. Kaneki pushing forward, finds Shy, and that is gonna be now 27 seconds remaining. Moment. Elsa as well is getting junk. They need to try to top these tanks back up to the Chengdu Hunters if they want to extend this fight. Leaf has the duplicate, puts another diva into the fight. Let's the circle Bernard, manage the fight. Nisha. Now Gaga's going to be eliminated. Connecting is going to be gone. It. it looks like the Hangzhou Spark have managed to do it. Elsa taken it out of the back. Leaf eliminated from the duplicate. That is going to be the team kill extended, and they will be able to make it happen in overtime. Hangzhou Spark in front of the home crowd yet again will be able to take this series. This time, a three. 3-1 victory over the Chengdu Hunters. And where they need it the most, it might not be a self-destruct duplicated 2K, but Shy comes up with the goods once more on that Echo, finds the copy, gets the dupe in anyway.